In this problem, we are going to see um, if we rotate a line in space, what would be the trace of that rotation on the stair unit. Uh, before getting into a stair unit, uh, let me I draw a sketch here to understand exactly what we are going to do. Let's say here I have my stair unit, okay? Um, and indeed, you know, this stair unit is the projected uh, image of the southern hemisphere, right? Let's say this is my southern hemisphere, right? And my stair unit indeed is uh, this one here. Okay, let me have it in another color. And what we're going to do is, let's say we take one random line in space and we're going to fix one end and we're going to rotate in space, right? So if you rotate it at 360 degrees, and it, it's going to create a cone in space like that, right? So if you have your central line, okay, um, the angle uh, from each side of this cone, it's going to be a fixed number. For example, here it's about 30 degrees, right? So uh, we want to see actually um, uh, how this is going to be end up on a stair unit. Let's say the fixed line that you are going to uh, use for the rotation, uh, it is this line here, okay? I'm going to show the center of your stair unit. Let's say here is north, here is south, and this north-south line is the same line that you're gonna rotate along that line, right? So if I have my line, let's say this is my red line, and I'm gonna rotate that one in the space, it's going to create a cone, right? The half of the cone, it's going to sit inside of the southern hemisphere, and the other half, it's going to be outside of that hemisphere, right? So I'm ignoring the other half because, um, you know, we don't have any intersection between the upper side of this cone and the southern hemisphere. But what we can do, we can assume, we can assume that uh, when uh, the line is completing the other half, right? When this line is somewhere here, right? This one here, this line can have, you know, continuation to the other side of the hemisphere. And when you are completing the other half, actually, um, we're going to have, okay, the other half of the cone um, on the other side of the southern hemisphere, right? So if we look at from the top view, Okay, let's say we are looking from top view now, and what we can see is, um, indeed, one trace is, let's say this is north, this is south, we're going to see one trace down here, and the other trace is going to be here, all right? If you have the trace on a small circle for one side, this is 180 degrees of rotation, and the other side is another 180 degrees. All right, so let's go to stair unit and see how we can work on this problem on this stair unit. Um, we are practicing this because we're going to use this for the next problems. Um, this is just you no know, conceptual uh, problem, but we're going to find out how one line will appear on a stair unit if you want to rotate it in space, either 360 or you know 180 degrees or 90 degrees or whatever you want right so first let's plot the um, linear feature it's 150 slash 30 150 is the trend so from the north we go 150 degrees this is 90 100 110 120 130 140 and 150 all right let's write here 150 if you want um, we need to go 30 degrees towards the center so we can place it here and count 30 degrees right this is the point that we want right so it doesn't matter you place it along the north east line as we said or along the west east line right it's exactly the same as you see so next step is we need to rotate 
this line, right? It means if this line, let's say, is um, is in a space like this, you need to rotate it in a space, okay? And it's gonna create a kind of cone, okay? In a space. So how this cone or how this rotation will appear on the stair unit? Um, uh, let's see how we gonna do that. So first of all, if you wanna rotate it, you need to put the rotational axis on north south line. All right, this is my rotational axis, right? Because this is the trend, and you rotate it um, on the trend, right? You place the trend on the north south um, direction, and then I'm going to rotate clockwise. Okay, it doesn't matter really, but I just for you know, purpose of the practice. Let's say we are going to rotate it clockwise. So if you do that, so indeed, if I rotate uh, the angle between this line and the trend, okay, or rotational axis inside the cone, okay, this angle is always 30 degrees, right? Let's say you put a line at the center of the cone and from each side, the angle between the cone, okay, or surface of the cone to the central line, it's gonna be 30 degrees, right? So you're gonna you're gonna follow the same rule here. So here this angle is 30, right? So if you trace the small circle that has an angle of 30, that's gonna be the trace of this rotation, right? So this is the trace of the rotation. I'm just following the Okay, 30 degrees off. And then as soon as you hit the primitive circle, this is just 90. We need to complete 360. So when the line actually hits the primitive circle, uh, if you want to continue, you need to, uh, you need to find the opposite point on the other side of this, uh, stair unit right so we were tracing the 30 degrees of uh, southern part we need to find the 30 degrees on the northern part right this is 1 20 and 30 and then we would continue from there right and you just complete this trace this is another 180 degrees right so we started from here and then the rest it's gonna be shifted on the other end right so again 1 20 and 30 so you start from there and you get back to this point right so if we're gonna rotate 160 uh, clockwise this is the trace that we're gonna see it then after drawing it you can place it um, the nose of the vellum paper on the right nose direction and that's going to be how this line look like if we rotate it in a space 360 degrees so the reason for um, 